When finding the critical value for a given alpha in the normal distribution, one needs to understand that the tail in which the hypothesis test is being performed will change the answer significantly. Hypothesis tests can be either left-tailed tests, right-tailed tests, or two-tailed tests. Of course, one needs to know when you are performing a left-tailed test, or a right-tailed test, or a two-tailed test. And the important idea here is that the tail in which the test is being performed is determined by the inequality sign in the alternative hypothesis. If the inequality sign in the alternative hypothesis points to the left, we'll be doing a left tail test. So let's start there. For any of these tests, it's important to be able to interpret what we mean by the level of significance or alpha. And what the level of significance, or alpha, is, is an area. In this case, the little green area that we see in the left tail of this test is meant to represent alpha, specifically an alpha of 4%. So alpha is an area, and what we are trying to find when we are asked to find the critical value is the z-score on the number line that is associated with this area. Anytime we use an area, which is a percentage, we use the inverse normal function. So here, in finding our critical values, we'll be finding z-scores given an area, which is alpha, that is associated with the level of significance. We'll be using the inverse normal function, and to go to the inverse normal function, we'll use the second distribution button, and then click on the 3 key. It is important to remember that the input into the inverse normal function is the area to the left of the number that we want to find on the x-axis. And in our case, for a left-tailed hypothesis test, that area is going to be simply 4% or 0.04 as a decimal. When we click the Enter key, we see that we have the z-score, negative 1.75. Remember that this is a z-score. So therefore, z-scores are taken to two decimal places. A right-tailed hypothesis test would be a hypothesis test in which the alternative hypothesis has an inequality sign pointing to the right. In other words, a greater than inequality symbol. The level of significance, alpha, is again represented by the little green shaded area. Alpha is a percent. 0.04 is the decimal equivalent of 4%. And much like when we find percentiles, we need the area to the left of the number that we're trying to find on the x-axis. Since the entire area under the curve is 1, or 100%, subtracting 4% from 100% gives us 96%, so that the critical value for an alpha of 4% will be found by using the second distribution 3 inverse normal function, but instead of the input 4%, the input will be 0 0.96, 96%. And we see that the decimal that we get has the same absolute value as the decimal we had for the left tail hypothesis test, which makes sense because we know that the normal curve is completely symmetric. A two-tailed hypothesis test is a hypothesis test that will take place when the alternative hypothesis has the inequality symbol not equal to. Not equal to can also be seen as less than or greater than. And therefore, the inequality symbol in the alternative hypothesis would point both to the left and to the right. That means that the alpha 4% is shared in two tails. And what I've tried to represent here with the little green area found in both tails is an area that is exactly one half of 4% or 2%. So to find the critical value for a two-tail hypothesis test, we first have to divide alpha by 2. And of course, 0.04 divided by 2 is 0.02 so that 2% will be the area found under the curve in either tail in a two-tailed test for a level of significance of 4%. Now, to find the critical value, we need to put 2% or 98% into the inverse normal function. 
I'm going to use the 2% and then go to the second distribution number 3 inverse normal function, put in the 2% and hit enter, and we see that the z-score or critical value for 2% is negative 2.05. If we were to find the same inverse normal for 98%, we get a positive 2.05. And since the alpha of 4% is shared equally in the two tails, the two critical values have the same absolute value, and we have one answer that is positive and another answer that is negative. On the answer template, the plus or minus symbol can be found if you click the little arrow on the divide symbol and then select plus or minus. You can now type in the rest of the answer and go ahead and check the answer as you would normally. For the right-tailed hypothesis test, the critical value would just be input as a positive number. And for a critical value that is negative, which would be the case in a left tail test, you can input the negative symbol with the negative sign found on your keyboard and then the numbers as usual.